Before you begin, be sure to review the package insert for complete instructions. Label slides with sample identifier and the appropriate gram stain result. Add one drop of fixation solution to the well of each microscope slide. Then, transfer 10 microliters, or one small drop of the blood culture, to the drop of the fixation solution. Mix gently with a sterile tip to emulsify. Next, place the slides on the PNA Fish workstation and heat at 55 degrees for 20 minutes. Open the control slide for the corresponding PNA Fish tests used. Add one drop of PNA probe to each well of the sample and control slides. Add cover slips to each well. Press firmly on the cover slips to ensure even coverage of the well and to remove any air bubbles. Place slides on the peony fish workstation and hybridize at 55 degrees for 30 minutes. After hybridization, place slides in slide rack, immerse in wash solution, and gently remove cover slips. Wash slides at 55 degrees for 30 minutes. After the wash, remove the slides and allow them to air dry. Once dry, add one drop of mounting medium to each well along with the cover slip. Push on the cover slip to remove any excess mounting medium and ensure the cover slips sit in place over the wells. The slides are now ready for examination. Add a drop of immersion oil to each cover slip. Start by examining the positive and negative controls, followed by the sample slides. A positive result is determined by visualization of multiple bright fluorescent cells in multiple fields of view. A negative result is determined by the lack of fluorescent cells. And that's PNA Fish. It's a straightforward, four-step process which is easy and quick to perform.